in the day, you know, pre this election cycle, it was encouraged. I mean, Hillary Clinton herself said it's good that we're doing business with Russia, et cetera. And now suddenly, no, 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 no. If you've ever so much as I've said, had a white Russian, you know, with any Russian friend, you're now in jeopardy. Why the change? Yeah, and, and you know, Trish, uh, you never hear this on TV. In my opinion, this is a big one, and I write it in detail in Game of Thorns with documentation, and that was Skolkova University. In addition to the uranium deal, Skolkova University wanted to be the Silicon Valley of Russia, so they gave $2 million to the Clinton Foundation, and Hillary Clinton arranged it, and Silicon Valley executives and IT specialists flew to Skolkova. They became the Silicon Valley of Russia because of Hillary Clinton, the irony being the Russians hacked into the DNC computers. Hillary may have given them, them the snake that bit her, but, but in any case, you don't hear much about it, but it's documented, very clear. It is ironic how this is unfolding. Um you know, if, if you run a company, an international company as he does, uh, one would assume you would do business with different people in different places. I mean, we don't live in a world, Doug, where you only function in the United States of America. It's a global economy. And I compare the Bob Mueller investigation now with the Kenneth Starr investigation of Bill Clinton and Trish. To me, it looks like a, a mirror. It looks like an absolute reverse. Starr had substance. He had fingerprints, uh, missing billing records, uh, money from China, pictures in the Oval Office with the president of Chinese officials, uh, China on the fast track to WTO involving trillions of dollars eventually, substance, and he veered off into this sex scandal. It didn't lead mm -hmm. to impeachment. I see Bob Mueller. He has nothing. <laughs> A conclusion in search of uh, an investigation. What would we know evidence? about it, though, Doug? Uh, you know, let <laughs> me, let me build advocate here. Now. If he did have something, would we have, would we have heard? I would think Maybe you would, just given all the leaks that are happening right now. <laughs> but nothing's been leaked of any consequence. Should we know it by about something by now, Doug, this far ahead? Ab absolutely. And it's troubling. The witch hunt idea is troubling because you can eventually find something about anybody, about you and me, if you put yeah. the muscle of the, of the government behind it. And Bob Mueller's reputation depends on it. He's got all of these Wall Street people and big people, Hollywood people, who are saying, find something. He's, he's got to find something. And now if he's going off into business, I mean, uh, business well, by the way, is very here complicated. Is Hillary Clinton talking about business in Russia from uh, what year do we got it? 2009. Here you go. Mm. We can uh, deepen our bilateral relationship, uh, work to benefit both of our people, as well as the leadership that we can demonstrate uh, for the rest of the world. Does illustrate the kind of closer collaboration that we're uh, seeking to uh, encourage between uh, American uh, companies and Russian companies, between American experts and Russian experts, in this case, engineers, who uh, are among, among the very best in the world. In other words, let's work with the Russians. That's what she's telling us, Doug. <laughs> yeah. And you just can't if you're Donald Trump. And the Magnitsky Act figured in that because mm -hmm. she, many believe, was circumventing that Magnitsky Act, which is so ironic because uh, uh, that affected U.S. congressmen and U.S. senators who were Democrats who were trying to mount some kind of a defense against a Russian attack. It is, it is a story that is filled with layers of irony, and it's deeply troubling and scary. Doug, thank you very much. Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks, Trish. All right.